We're selling our Ram Promaster short body camper van, and we're letting our followers have the first preview before the van becomes available to purchase in July. So sit back and enjoy a condensed van tour video from 2021, as well as recent upgrades. We put a lot of love and work into building out Clarity, and after living on the road in the US and Mexico, we found the compact layout was perfect for part-time or full-time van life, and ideal for working remotely. So we decided to go with a ProMaster 136. It's the ProMaster 2500, 136 inch wheelbase. Why go with the 136 wheelbase? Oh look, organic ice cream. Oh. oh, we gotta stop. <laughs> Honey, you missed the turn. Okay, so let's go inside and we'll show you around. So one of the first design considerations we had because we chose the shorter van was how we were going to do the dinette and the eating area. There's really not enough room for a full banquette in a short van. So this is how we solved the problem. We put swivels on each one of the chairs so that we can turn the chairs back this direction when we're camping. The other thing we did was we made this table that's super adjustable. It's made with a lagoon table mount and we can have the table in this position where we both can eat. We can swivel it this direction and then I can use it as an office. And we can raise it up and have it a little higher and then we have additional countertop space. One of the first things we learned after using the van for a short while is that we needed some light over the table. So Matt added this battery operated light. It just sticks up here in the cab and that adds great light for when I'm working or when we're eating. It's really important in any van and especially a short van to utilize all the storage you can. And so this was a pretty clever idea that Matt came up with. The original van ended here and so our feet would have just been swinging. So Matt added this entire platform here out. And so we had all this space. And so we used it to store our shoes under here. So this is a perfect place to store our shoes. They're out of the way. And then we have a platform for our feet. And up here we have the above cab storage. And we store all the reflective blinds for the cab area, as well as the sliding door. And then I keep my hat up here. We have grocery bags and we also keep extra bags for the garbage can. So one important factor in the van is lighting. Um, you definitely don't want to have too little light. And we have these small puck lights up there, four of them across there is plenty of light. It's, it's quite impressive. Uh, these are 250 lumen lights each, LED lights, uh, 12 volts, and they run off a switch and they also have a dimmer so that we can uh, have some mood lighting in here. And then I also have under cabinet lights here for the countertop, uh, which are also on a dimmer. We put in this custom spice rack uh, so that we have a place to store the main spices that we use all the time, and then our olive oil, so I use the sunflower oil for baking, but I also use it for keeping the uh, walnut oiled. I have a walnut countertop and our table is walnut also. The sink is right here that has a butcher block over the top uh, that you can use for extra counter space. And then we just take that off. It stores right down here. when we're not using it. And then we've got your classic hot and cold running water kitchen sink. We wanted, we wanted to have both the hot and cold running water. So then I can just unclip the countertop when I'm ready to cook. It leans against the backsplash. Our stove top is here. We have a three burner stove top and it's propane. Very simple, easy to use. On the back here, I have a nice soft piece of cloth, but don't let this fool you. This is welding cloth, and um, 
it's impervious. You could stand here with a blowtorch and it will not catch fire and it protects the wood here from catching fire uh, in case it gets too hot behind the stove. Okay, when we're ready to travel, this can just flop down and latch so that it doesn't come open. These pop into here. So then I just loosen the tabletop, bring it up so that it's above the countertop, slide it over and lock it into position. And then I can just tighten this down a little bit. That keeps it from moving. It's nice and solid, works great for traveling. And so down here is our refrigerator. We have a Dometic uh, CRX 65, 65 uh, quart, I guess it is, um, which has really plenty of room for us. And it's got a little freezer. We've got some uh, garden burgers, some ice in there, which is really important for cocktail hour. You'll notice I made these drawers so that they fit. This one fits just underneath the sink and it has a little cutout for the sink drain, which in this particular sink, I was able to put the drain as far back as possible, which helps give me as much depth as I can possibly get. And then un under the sink is the P-trap. And so I have this cut out for the P-trap. And same thing here, the bottom of the P-trap just has a little indentation, but everything that we need is here. And then our bottom drawer has all our pots and pans, as well as our pantry for everything we don't store in the refrigerator. So a couple things we added over time uh, from the original design. One was our paper towel holder. And then behind that, I've got a place for maps. Uh, just a little cabinet that I built. Um, I raised it up here to make room for this to get in and out because this is our trash can. And you need a place to put your trash and your recycling. Um, we chose to use this small thing. We can usually get about two or three days out of a single uh, bag here. We have a uh, Max Air fan that's very common in the vans. These are great fans if you haven't, if you're trying to decide whether to put a uh, fan in your van. The Max Air fans are really great. They're like 10, 10 speeds. This is the lowest speed. It goes way up there. And with that thing on high and the windows open, it draws so much air in here, keeps it cool even when it's 90 degrees outside. In addition to the Max Air fan, I also have one of these gimbal fans here. And this thing is very maneuverable. I can move it around. I can put it over this way. I can put it over that way. Um, I can lock it into position. And then I can move it both up and down and sideways. And that also adds a really nice airflow airflow over the bed when it's hot out um, when we do have the dogs in here and we want to go for a hike or a bike ride we need to keep the dogs in the van even when it's hot out in the 90s early low 90s um, we feel comfortable leaving the van open with the vents going and this fan on and they can stay nice and cool in here another thing i did recently is i added a high level indicator light for the gray water tank so that I can see when it's getting full uh, so that we don't have to wait until it backs up into the sink to let me know that it's full. Um, this little light right here will turn red when I reach about uh, three quarters full on the tank. So it gives me time to both see it and to empty the gray water tank before it fills up. We have plenty of storage in our upper cabinets. Plates, tall things, bags of chips, very important. Um, our glasses, cups, um, snacks up here, dishes, plates, and bowls. Um, and then plenty of food storage. Uh, what we don't keep in the pantry down there, we have room for up here, or what doesn't fit up here fits down in the pantry. It's, uh, it's really pretty functional. 
And because I have bad eyes, it really helps me to have lighted cabinets. Next, we have our closet. And we have plenty of room in here. We don't have this even half full. We could fill it up quite a bit more. I also put clips on this side. I've got a clip for an umbrella. Clips right in place so it doesn't fall over and become a problem. And I have a clip for the broom. And down here, we've got access to the garage. We've got our backpacks and our dog food back there. And here we have our nature's head composting toilet. So then here on the outside of the van, I do have a push button light here so that if it's in the dark, I can open that, turn that on, and that's an entry light right above where we step up into the van. So the other thing we have on the driver's side, um, behind the driver's seat on the kitchen cabinet, is a receptacle and a charging station, as well as I have a switched fan that draws air across the back of the refrigerator to keep it cool, and it keeps its efficiency high. So here we are in the bunk area. We chose to put the bed across the back of the van like this, and it fits a standard-sized double bed. So at the foot of each of our bed, we have our clothes storage. And again, Matt put in lights so that we have lots of light for finding our clothes. This is Matt's cabinet. I have one my own on this side. And when we're not in use, we can turn that light off. One of the nicest features I like about this bunk is that we have windows on both the foot side of the bed and on the head side. So at night we can open those windows and get lots of fresh air across the bed. We decided we'd rather have blinds that stay in place. So I made these blinds and they fold up and all we have to do is unvelcro the straps. Like that, pull that one down and they unfold. They're magnetized, so they clip right to these bars down here. And then we have a nice blind. It blocks out light, and they're also made with Easy Cool so that they keep the van cool when it's hot out, and it helps keep the heat in when it's cold out. So on Matt's side of the bed, we have the controllers for the heater. We also have a thermometer and we have some storage so we can keep our iPad um, and we have charging cords so that we can charge both of our phones and have them you know up and out of the way as well as our um, jetpack can all be stored in one easy place. So Matt has a light and I have a light. One of my favorite things about van life is having my first cup of coffee or tea in bed. And it was always a problem because I never had a place to set down my coffee cup. So Matt made me this beautiful little shelf next to my bed where I can put, safely keep my coffee cup and anything else so I can keep my hair clips or what else I need, personal items up here. The other really nice thing about sleeping in this bunk area is that if we're in a place that's warm and we feel safe having the doors open, we can draw these curtains across the back and that gives us some privacy. And then with this new valance that I put in, it also keeps the bugs out. The other thing that we discovered right away is you need to have some kind of bug protection. And uh, we looked at lots of different ideas and ultimately what we came up with was super cheap and super easy. We just bought a sheer panel at the linen store. We hung it on this bungee cord that goes from a hook over here to a hook here. And all we have to do is draw that sheer panel across. And then we have some extra magnets if we need to clip it down to the bottom. And that's our bug screen. So one of the main problems that we have in a van this small is storage. And I decided on our last trip that we really needed to upgrade the back end. 
um, to maximize our storage space. So the first thing I did is I actually built a slide out tray for the bikes. This tray keeps all of our bike gear as well as uh, two bikes, everything we need right there. They both fit in that small space. The bikes can also slide in and out and so does this. Um, and now we have a really nice spot right back here next to our shower for our dirty laundry. And then I've also got room for my compressor, uh, which, you know, if you need to air down your tires, you can pump your tires back up. And there's still more room. I can, I can utilize this for a lot of different things. Accessing the garage from the front, and I can just go in here, get down on my little bottom, Turn on the light and voila, I have access to my entire electrical system, my hot water heater, which this is a Bosch electric uh, water heater. But I've got my battery chargers, my inverter, my charge controller, um, all accessible as well as a switch. I can disconnect the batteries just by turning off the battery isolate switch. So up on the roof, I have 525 watts of char solar charging panels. My two lithium ion batteries totaling 340 amp hours right here. I've got three different chargers. I have a battery to battery charger that charges off the alternator. Then I have the solar charge controller, which is right here. I have my uh, pure sine wave inverter here for my AC and my third charge controller is right here and this is this is an AC to DC charge controller and this I use only when we're plugged into shore power I also have access to my toolbox which is sits right in here and then I have storage here for I can put 12 cans of uh, fizzy water and or beer whatever I want in here and I have storage here we don't even we're not even using right now. We have storage for our levelers here and I've also got block type levelers here. And I've got my propane storage here. This uh, propane, propane is heavier than air so there's a hole in the bottom that goes out through the bottom of the van and it ventilates so if this pressure relief valve goes off and and this uh, compartment fills up with propane, it'll just drain out the bottom. We have a 25 gallon water, fresh water tank back here, and water pump, water filter. This filters out chlorine um, and all kinds of things. The only thing that it does not filter out is total dissolved solids, so you don't want to be putting salty water in your, in your tank. Another one of the updates that we did to the van is we took out this outdoor propane instant water heater. And the reason we did that is because it was so buggy and it would get really hot, then it would get really cold, and it wasn't really that pleasant of an experience. So instead, I connected up this uh, shower valve, just a standard shower valve, to our water heater, our electric water heater. And we tried it on this trip and it is working so well. It's a nice steady temperature and the uh, shower head still has an on off. We've taken, we're able to take two showers with this uh, with the two and a half gallon water heater that we have and it works fine. And then it recovers really fast. Um, it's a great system so we're really happy with this. How do you get privacy you might say? Well, I'm glad you asked. This little slick thing here is our shower curtain. And all I have to do is unroll it, hook it up there, hook it up there. Voila. The last upgrade that we did, but not the least important, and that is we added some storage to the top of the van. So what I did is I built a little deck on the top of the van in front of the solar panels so that I would have a place to store the inflatable kayak. So we went with the Dometic 9500 
awning. And this is the manual version. They do make a 12 volt version, but I prefer to keep things simple. Uh, you know, the more motors and things you have, the more you have just something else to break. If you're interested in the nitty gritty details of the van, check out the link in the description below.